The Memphis Tigers head to East Carolina. East Carolina is a four and a half point favorite. Total sits at 58 over at BetUS. So make sure that you go and check that out. 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time on ESPNU. And let's go on and pull up the stats, of course, while I tell you the trends. And they don't look good for the Tigers, okay? Trends are certainly not in their favor. Memphis 1-6 and six against the spread at East Carolina. Their last seven trips out there, they are 2-12 and 12 against the spread in their last 14 meetings with the Pirates. So definitely, eh. Uh, not good. Memphis is two and seven against the spread in their last nine overall. East Carolina six zero oh, and one against the spread after a straight up loss. Of course, they lost at Tulane last week, um, and they are six and two against the spread at home in their last eight. Memphis, of course, coming off of the heartbreaking, just disgusting fourth quarter where they lost the game to Houston after they were up twenty six to seven, ended up losing thirty three to thirty two. The numbers still like Memphis in this spot. Okay. Um, I their defense is not great against the pass, and that's one place where Holt and Aylers could certainly take advantage of them. Uh, passing success rate, the Tigers' defense, number 111 in that spot, number 95 in PPA per pass defense. East Carolina, that's what they do best. Number 55 in PPA per pass, they're number 39 in passing success rate on offense. Uh, you're not going to see a bunch of explosive plays as far as the Passing game is concerned, but where I would be worried is this Tigers running game. Uh, excuse me, the Tigers rushing defense. Number 70 in rushing explosiveness allowed. East Carolina is number 8. So even though they're not super successful with it, uh, number 92 in the country, uh, that is something that East Carolina can do on offense to take advantage. On the other side, when Memphis has the football, uh, they also can take advantage as far as the passing game is concerned. Number 67 in PPA per pass. And the East Carolina defense is number 92 here. So there's there's certainly ways. Oh, and passing explosiveness, by the way, uh, passing explosive play rate, that heavily leans Memphis's way. Number 31 in that metric, East Carolina's defense, number 93 in that allowed. Uh, the rushing defense for East Carolina is awesome, like really good. Number 10, PPA per rush. Number 5, rushing success rate allowed. Here is the issue is number 84 in rushing explosiveness allowed. So there are ways that Memphis might could break off a couple of runs here and there, but you're not going to run the ball enough to maybe have one of those. Uh, looking at turnover margin, that favors Memphis big time. The penalties per game, both of them really, really good. Number 20 and number 24. Uh, field position, you know, tends to lean uh, East Carolina a little bit. But I, I look at this. And I just think four and a half is too many. Uh, I know that Memphis is only one and six in uh, against the spread in their last seven at East Carolina. I understand that Memphis is two and twelve against the spread in their last fourteen against East Carolina. Four and a half feels like too many. Uh, I think Memphis can find ways to take advantage of them. Uh, I will take Memphis to cover the four and a half. So there we go with another dog. Look at this. I'm actually taking dogs this week. So, yes, Memphis plus four and a half on the road at East Carolina. I understand they're one and ten against the spread in their last seven on the road. Uh, excuse me, last 11 on the road. But they did cover this year at Navy. They typically don't do that. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.